I wanted to make a video talking about Warlock Biss uh, coming in Sunwell. There are a lot of pieces in Sunwell that are huge upgrades for Warlocks. I think Warlocks are one of the classes that replace almost every single piece from the previous tier, but I wanted to talk about specifically what I think you can get. So this on the screen is what I simmed out to be our true Biss. And unfortunately it includes three pieces from Kill Jaden, which isn't really realistic. So I'll talk about some, some offshoots you could also do, but let's just go piece by piece and discuss uh, each slot. Uh, Dark Conjurer's Cow, this is just the best item. It drops off Kill Jaden. It has incredible stats, meta socket, blue socket, crit, haste, spell damage. There's nothing you can get that's possibly better than this. Uh, the only other item besides this that I would wear personally would be tier six helmet maintained from last phase this is a very good item you would probably put in the spell haze gem the the one that comes out reckless reckless pyre stone and obviously the meta gem chaotic sky fire diamond and just send it like that and this this is also this is a very very good piece uh for neck amulet one feather magic is your best in slot neck this is the best neck by a margin but if you do so choose you can go jewel crafting and get the Pendant of Sunfire. This is also a crazy good neck. Either one of these you should be very happy with. Personally, I'm going to be going for the Tailoring Chest versus the Jewel Crafting Neck because I think that there will be more amulets than people think. Twins is currently dropping two of the same items, so you can easily get two amulets dropped if your guild kills Twins pretty easily. So this is honestly easier to attain. Then maybe the off-piece chest, which is Biss for Mages, which I'll talk about later on. But I'm going to go for Amulet here. Uh, Pendant of the Sunfire is a good option. Uh, Translucent Spell Thread Necklace is a very good hit piece. If you're still missing hit in your one other pieces, I would keep this handy uh, in case you don't get an Amulet for a while. Pendant of the Sunfire doesn't have any hit. And if you don't struggle for hit, I believe Loop of Cursed Bones is best in slot for single target damage. And then Brute of Nature's Mercy would be best for your seed set. So you have a lot of neck options as a Warlock. I think Amulet is the best catch-all, and I would shoot for this personally and avoid the Jewel Crafting neck. But at the end of the day, it's what you can get, right? So go for what you can. Uh, this is the first piece with a little bit of controversy. So I think whatever you could get first, if you get Dark Conjurer's Cowl, or Dark Conjurer's Collar, I would get this as a priority for a Helm piece. Uh, but if you get Amos, you don't need Dark Conjurer's Collar because you can just use the Tier Helmet to maintain your four piece instead. But if you get the Helm first, then you don't need Amos of the Convoker anymore and you can just maintain your shoulders for four piece. Personally, the best in slot that that I would use would be I, I would I would be using Dark Conjurer's collar with the shoulders, but I would be very happy if I had the other way around. There, there you have the, the, these are the only two shoulders that that you want. These two, tier six or Amos. But if you get collar first, you use tier six shoulders. If you get Amos first, you use tier six helm. But you don't need Dark Conjurer's collar and Amos because you must maintain that four piece as essential. Cloak, it's pretty easy. The cloak off of Kill Jaden's the best cloak in the game, just by far. Like I, this is the cloak I, I would I would just go go for this if you can. This can be a huge competition. This is best for basically every single caster. So go for this if you can. Uh, it might be worth it to sacrifice not getting the cloak and try to go for the other off pieces because cloak at the end of the day isn't that big of a piece. Like this is a very very good piece. Obviously it's got a red socket haste and spell damage, but some of the other pieces are just much bigger and it's okay to sacrifice one piece for your loot council or if you're DK, DKP, whatever it is, to get another piece later. Uh, if you're looking at councils from the last phase, I believe Cloak of the Illidar Council is best in slot for single target. Nether Void Cloak is fine if you're suffering for spell hit and Shadowcasters and Shroud are Shroud's decent for single target damage. I would rather use Illidari Council and I use Shadowcasters right now for AoE. So you got a lot of Cloak options which is pretty good for us. But Tattered Cape with the Haste Gem is your go-to here if you want your best and best slot. But it's okay to have Illidari or Shroud as well. For chest, I think Sunfire Robe is the best thing you can get here. Uh, second place would probably be maintaining Sea Witch. If you have Sea Witch, that's very good. 
Uh, tier 6 robe is okay, but vestments is obviously better. And in terms of other chests, you have Fell Conqueror's Rainments and Robes of Ghostly Hatred. Robes of Ghostly, I think, uh, Robes of Ghostly Hatred are best in slot for mages because the spirit. So I wouldn't even bother with this. Uh, Fell Conqueror's Rainment would be a piece that if you get the Jewel Crafting Neck, this would be your best in slot chest. You would want this chest. This is a very good chest. And in those sockets, you would obviously put three oranges with haste and spell damage in all of them, in, in all in all three of them. And the plus six stats and chests is the best in China build. But personally, I, I'm going to go for Sunfire Robe. It's better, slightly better, but it's easier to get. And I already have a tailoring kit available. So it's going to be definitely easier to get a tailoring pattern than a drop off of one of the later bosses. So Sunfire Robe is what I would go for. Vestments and tier six robes are perfectly okay if you are coming up from the last phase. And Fell Conqueror's Raiment and Robes of Ghostly Hatred, I wouldn't be going for Ghostly Hatred at all. If the mages get that, get your Fell Conqueror's Raiment for sure. Wrist. It's a, it's an easy one. Tier tier six is the best you could possibly get. You you need your tier six bracers as fast as possible. I these are incredible. Like all, all the off pieces are going to be bis for every class. So if you want to, because all right, so each boss drops three tokens one one of each one of each one two three every week so we all know that the off pieces are best in slot you already have your four piece from later on but if you get some of these important off pieces if you get dark conjurer's collar if you get the amos of the convoker you're going to need one of the off pieces to supplement your four piece or you'll have to sacrifice your chest or something because you're going to have to maintain four pieces all the time so if you get an important off piece and then a piece of tier important off piece and then a piece of tier that that would work better for you because you could replace your four piece pieces that you have right now and maintain that four piece perpetually and be very happy uh if you don't get the tier six braces that fast braces and nimble thought are fine they're craftable they're easy they're cheap right now that's really your only other option if you're coming up uh with a fresh warlock right now for wrath a uh, weapon it's a lot, of, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of stuff to unpack with weapons here uh if you have zardoom I would not expect to get a Sun Flare if you're a Loot Council Guild. That, that's just how it is. Unless you're like an officer or you have some sort of sway. Like you're not, you're not, if you have a Zordium, you're not going to get something. If you have a Tempest of Chaos, I would recommend that your Tempest of Chaos users get get the Sun Flare. They took the sack for get, not getting Zardoom and they went for the Tempest of Chaos instead as a good team player. And I think those people deserve Sun Flare personally. Uh, the other staff that drops. Or is it the Grand Magister's Staff of Torrents? This is an okay weapon for basically mages, like catch-up mages. And I, I, I would use this uh, if I was a warlock that didn't have Zardoom or Tempest Chaos. But if you get Grand Magister's Staff of Torrents, you're probably not going to get uh, Sunflare. And that's okay. Sometimes you have to sacrifice some parts of your gear. Not everyone's going to be full bis. Like personally, I haven't been full bis any phase of classic ever on my character there's too many mouths to feed and rng is never on your side but if you get a zardoom uh you're probably not going to get a sun flare if you have tempest chaos i would recommend you get sun flare uh sun flare is the best weapon in the game that's just how it is and if you can get it definitely go for it offhand there's only one clear offhand heart of the pit is the best offhand in the game uh, if you're suffering from hit chronicle is okay as well uh the other offhands are irrelevant now chronicle or heart of the pit are the only two offhands you should be should be using Basically, period. I wouldn't rock literally anything else. Uh, fetish is okay until you get heart, obviously. But you know, I would just like heart. Heart's crazy good. If, if you if you have one hander, toc, sunflower, just yeah, just get heart of the pit. Gloves, uh, gloves are interesting place. Uh, I'm pretty sure you turn in gloves of Tyree's power for handguards of the Defile world, or handguards of the Defile world drop and turn into gloves of Tyree's power or something like that. But these are just crazy good. Look at that, almost 30 hit. 36 haste and spell damage with two sockets. These are crazy good. And your tier 6 gloves will perfectly cover you until then. Like, if you're a new warlock coming up, T6 gloves are pretty easy to get. You just go into Hydril, grab them real quick. It's it's pretty easy, but get these if you're on the come up. These are just incredible. There's no other item like it. Let, let mages get gloves of Tyrion's power. They got that spirit that they all know and love for their mana regeneration, but the final world's the best. Like, you need, you need to get these. These are crazy for for a hit option uh belt belt of the malefic another off piece as i said earlier all the off pieces are best for every single class uh if you're on the come up new new warlock uh belt of blasting is very easy to get off the auction house i wouldn't rock this this is a very good piece if you've been raining for a while 
you might have an Anathema Zeus or Waste Drop of Infinity. These are both good too. I think Waste Drop of Infinity is better for Seed, and Noose is better for single target. Uh, Belt of Blasting for the come up, and T6 Belt is your best. Like, there's not there's not much to talk about here. Uh, legs, these are an incredible piece. If you're a Warlock going into, like, you plan to play Wrath on your Warlock, you should get these as a top priority. These are going to be your Priebus and Wrath. These are just crazy, crazy itemized all the way around with three sockets, haste, and crit. More than any other item. If you compare it to Priebus and Wrath, it has... It, it's just a really good item. But if you get these, you have to remember, you're going to be using losing your four-piece right now. So you need to make sure you have one of the off-pieces, the wrists, the belt, or the boots, before you try to get these. Or, or if you have an extra chest lying around, your guild's probably letting the chest rot, so you should definitely pick that up and use that as a substitute until you get more of the off-pieces. So the, the, the Warlock giving is always going to be a rotation of your four-piece. But these are incredible items, get as soon as possible. Uh, if you're one of those Warlocks that's already using tier chests and you have leggings of channeled elements and you're rocking that type of four-piece, this is a very easy one-two exchange for you. And then tier six, if you're on the come up, new character, getting ready for F, this is a very good item to, to start with. And it's not going to be that contested going into the next tier. Boots, another easy one. Tier six boots. These are the best boots you can possibly get. They just get these when you can. It's a big, big, big upgrade over the previous boots. Like, look at this. Spirit and crit. These boots have hit and haste. One less socket. Doesn't matter. Because it's just extra. You're losing spirit. Like, these are just a very good off piece. Out of all the off pieces, I personally think that the, uh, the boots are the biggest upgrade over the previous tier. So, if I had to pick an off piece to get first, uh, I would pick the boots. Second place would be the belt. Third place would be the wrist. Uh, wrists just basically give you some more crit and the belt belt and boots give you more hit to play with like personally i, I have antheron's noose right now and the hit from belt of the mel ethic will give me more room to play around with my gear drop more hit more spell damage more haste if you're on the come up uh boots of blessing very easy item to get you can just pick up tailoring craft them it's very cheap you can buy everything off the auction house nowadays and this will get you... This is, these are good enough boots to last you through all the tier 6. You can even go into Sunwell with these. I'll probably be using these in Sunwell since my Warlock never got slippers of the Sea Collar. Uh, next, let's go to the rings. It's a very good ring. This literally drops off of trash. It's a jewel crafting powder and it's BOE. So you can buy this off the auction house. If you compare this to Mana Attune Ban, they're basically the same, except Loop of Forge power has... A little bit more intellect, stamina, one more hit rating, one more haste rating. So it's just a direct, it's a linear upgrade. It's a very good item. Like this, this is an easy go to. They're gonna be very expensive early on. You might, you, you could wait a little bit, while, a, a little while. It's not that big of an upgrade. It's a, it's a lateral upgrade. But the offering is what's important here, and that's Ring of Omnipotence. This ring is just in, incredible. It is much better than Ring of Ancient Knowledge, which most of you are gonna have. Maybe one. Potentially two rings of knowledge. Actually, most of you are going to have one ring of knowledge and one mana to man. If you're lucky, you'll have two rings of ancient knowledge. But ring of omnipotence is a direct upgrade over ring of ancient knowledge. So I would definitely get get this as <laughs> as one of the, one of the items that it probably isn't going to drop that much. So you should definitely snag it when you can. Uh, rings that if you're on the come up right now, coming up to wrath, uh, you can get a band of attorney. Some of you might be saving your quests for wrath wrath pre quest turn ins. Try to hit 71 off the rip. But this is a good starting ring. Uh, uh, Ashland's Gift always a good starting ring. That's from from Rep. Very easy, buyable Rep. Ring of Vash. Uh, ring from Karazhan is very good. This is also a ring from Rep from Karazhan. So there's a lot of easy rings to get if you're on the come up right now. But True, true Bis for sure is uh, Loop of Forge Power and Ring of All the Opponents. That, that's what I would use. I'd be very happy using that combination for the rest of the game. Trinkets. Warlocks always have a rotating axle of trinkets, but the best trinkets in the game, Skull of Gul'dan, Shifting Our Sliver, nothing close to it. If you don't if you don't have a skull by now, like me, because you're unlucky, uh, I'm rocking Hex Shrunken Head and uh, Quag's Eye, whoever Quag's Eye is. Quag's Eye, if, if, you're, if you're on the come up, getting ready for Wrath, just run sl Slave Pens, Heroic Slave Pens once a day. It, it's, it's worth it. This is just such a good trinket. The haste helps Warlock scale and do so much more damage. It's real. It's really good. 
Uh, other trinkets that I, I swap in, I swap Dark Iron Smoking Pipe every once in a while. I, I swap in uh, Icon of the Sliver, Silver Crescent when my Hex Shrunken heads on cooldown. Uh, it would be, I would probably be swapping Skull and like Hex Shrunken Head and Dark Iron Smoky Pipe and Icon while leaving Quags as a static trinket for the entire raid. Uh, the hit is really nice, but trinkets are pretty, pretty simple for, for Warlocks overall. And definitely get a Quags as fast as possible. And if you're on the come up, farm some badges. Icon's really easy to get as well. Uh, lastly, Wand. Best one in the game. It drops off trash. There's nothing like it. No, no competition. It's got a fat yellow socket for a plus 10 haste gem. Or if you want to throw in a red in there for that socket bonus. Very good wand. We love haste. Uh, if you're on the come up and need an easy wand. Carve Witch Doctor stick. Buy it with 25 badges. Simple wand. Very good. I'd be pretty happy starting off and just grabbing this wand. But right now I think I'm using Wand of the Forgotten Star. Which doesn't really have stamina. Remember, stamina is a raid stat. If you survive, you do more damage. <laughs> it's a pretty simple combination. But yeah, I mean, that's about it. This is what I believe some will this to be. The only thing you can do is swap uh, Amos and Tier 6 Helm. But this is this is a really solid, really solid build. I would go for this and convince your Lu Council that you deserve Sunflare if you have a TOC. That's going to be hard to do. And I guess I'll, I'll, end, I'll end this with showing off my gear right now. This is what I'm using. I'm using a four piece with helm, shoulders, gloves, and legs with spell damage gems because I, I don't like those socket bonuses personally. I'm using the noose to, and shoulders to get my meta gem activated. Uh, still using Boots of Blasting. I haven't seen a Sea Collar. Got a Mana Tune. Got a Roak. Hex Shrunk and Quags. I'm using TOC and Chronicle. I have, I'm like slightly off of the hit that I need because uh, I don't, I don't get an, uh, an Ellie Shaman in raid typically and I'm using vestments and I like white cloak of the Illyria council. I also have a seed set. The seed set has 275 haste. I'm rocking alacrity, same rings, Buddha blasting. These are the badge legs still using noose. I don't have a better belt. Uh, still use hand wraps. Very good. A lot of crit. Got some haste. I'm still using Blade of Wizardry, swapping out to TOC when the proc goes off. I have an ICD tracker for that. Uh, Brace of Nimble Thought, good. I really want to get the uh, an extra tier six chest. So I could throw some crit gems into that. But that's okay. I don't really, I don't really need that. You're not going to be seeding, swapping to seed set that much in some well. And I don't know how much I'll actually be using the seed set much longer after all that I built into it. But a lot of haste. This is the best seed helm around. Plenty of hit. Which you don't really need on trash, on honestly, but a lot of crit, a little bit of hit. And I have a spell pen set for council where I have 144 spell pen. I can swap the offhand out for 179, which is overkill, but I like using fetish. I have a chest where I put in three blue plus 13s, spell strike with plus 13s, belt with plus 13s, and I use the PvP one. And uh, I have a Shadow Res set, but I usually just use the Rest Enchanted, the Back Enchanted, and Boots. And also a little bit of Hit Ring, so I can get as close to that 15 as possible, that Golden 15. But it's okay if it's a little bit low, it's not the end of the world. And yeah, that's my entire gearing for Sunwell and my current gearing, my opinions. I hope that you guys can grease your Loot Master's palms and get everything you possibly want. Because you guys are going to be pumping in Sunwell and you all deserve it. Uh, you can catch me live at twitch.tv slash it's pummel. Link in the description. And please leave a comment if you think I messed up on something. Or if you disagree, I would love to debate about it. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. See you later.